Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. June 21st, Crane Village. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Oh yeah, so earlier that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the cops? She said she had something to tell him. Things are sure to get interesting. Uh-huh. She'll be like, someone broke my jar that had my ancestor spirit in it. And there's a big... <laughs> I'm just doing like the cuckoo cuckoo face. Ah, oh, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure's got bloomers in her knot. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> got bloomers in her knot. <laughs> yep, that's how you say it. <laughs> well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master's seat and trolling the village folk. Now she's... Now you see what she turned into a murder, that's what. Or yeah. not she. <laughs> <laughs> she turned into a murder. Yeah, what, what a mess. Whatever I do... Southern slang, I end up slurring everything, and then it just gets even <laughs> it's worse. It's fine. It makes it hilarious. Hey, hold on. What? That stuff you were just talking about, that's the first I've heard of it. Hey, yeah, really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with the gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seat? Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Misty Faye, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? So I heard the master has always been the oldest daughter. The oh. The oldest daughter? Turns out that old bat is Misty Faye's older sister. Uh oh? They say the older sister's usually the one with the more spiritual power. Oh, I've actually heard this before, so that makes sense. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway, somehow Granny there lost to her younger sister Mia. Or Mia. Misty. <laughs> that would be a crazy <laughs> plot twist. Crazy plot twist. <laughs> I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things, too, like, She's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to become the next master? Disgraceful! Wow, I had no idea. So, what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. So, yeah. Do you know where Amy is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around the garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah. I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. Alright. <clears throat> well, we're probably gonna hear a ton about her... No, not a hottie clinic. We're not going back there again. <laughs> I forgot how creepy that guy was. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Blake, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Well, I just had a terrible time at this clinic where this creepy old guy was talking about you. You have a creepy stalker, by the way. Oh, also... traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally! Oh, um, oh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about it. Hmm. Interesting. Eni just asked whose accident, which means... She must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change this topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Uh, you? Dr. Turner's accident? I mean, he just died. Oh wow, so like, that person had a car accident too? You can't tell me you don't know. Like, how would I know if that person, like, had an accident? Oh. Besides, like, 
I'm an occult fan, not an ambulance chaser like you. Alright, I get it. Okay, then let's see if you know about this person's accident. Huh? Another person? We just finished talking about her accident. Right, we did. I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove that I was in, like, another accident? Here's your proof. Like, this is so totally bringing me down. Huh? I know I'm, like, a little flaky, but do you really, like, think I'm an idiot? Uh, um, no. I didn't mean to suggest that. Like, let's make sure we're on the same page. I, like, want proof that I was in an accident. Well, that was a really small... I thought I'd ease into this topic, but... It doesn't matter what you say. I know you were in a car accident. So, wow, like, how strange. <laughs> proof she was in an accident. At, uh, newspaper clipping. Which, yeah? This one? Oh, yeah. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says Miss Eeny Miney holds interview about Crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? How rude of you to look into my personal life. <laughs> like, wait! What now? Th th that's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Eeny Miney, is, like, pretty common. What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Miney, is in here, too! Like, totally. Wow! What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps. You think I'm going to let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? I can't believe that. <laughs> but that is hilariously in character for her. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, this ball told me! <laughs> um, like, you shouldn't throw, like, truffling things around, you know? How ironic she said that about the ball! <laughs> truffling? Um, trifling, maybe? So, like, let's use our brains, okay? Ouch! <laughs> so, like, now what? Proof that she was hospitalized. There was a newspaper, right? No, wait. Her profile. What did it say? You mean the license photo? Never mind. No. Uh, newspaper. We, we already we one? just showed no, this one. Oh, one. That's about the malpractice incident. Oh, never mind. Um. Could it be her pro? Not her. Her profile. This one or her profile? Her profile. Profile. What does it say about her there? No. Sister oh. profile? No. Shoot, I'm blanking. We didn't get anything saying from the dude that she was hospitalized. Unless we have to use the same thing again. What about this? That doesn't say that she was hospitalized. He took this from her when she was brought okay, to the hospital! sure, sure. <laughs> this is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to be? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. H huh? So? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. Creepy fake doctor director. Doctor. doctor director. Now, are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident. Sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? And? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... Obviously, it's Mimi Miney. 
Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Gumshoe! <laughs> Gumshoe! <laughs> Do you suppose it could be this person? Like, no way. Oh, she's ugly, yup, with her <laughs> eyes open. Holy cow, yep, she's got the like, same eyes. no way. <laughs> Ba ba da da let's <laughs> make a pizzeria! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Like, the accident was like, a year ago, so like, what's this person got to do with it? I'm totally not interested in stupid people like you. Bye bye. Holy cow, she, I forgot how creepy she looks with this. <laughs> I had to stall her! Wait, well, I think I know who it is. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi. You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when the accident occurred, making it one and the same. Put it in your hat. It's pizza dough. <laughs> pizza dough. Maybe. On her head. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. At the time, I grabbed for my purse and escaped the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke, I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. At least she woke up. Thank goodness for that. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, she's creepy. Get out of here. Hey, Lotta. Hope you didn't June 21st, Crane Village. Looks like something's up. Stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! Oh, ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother! Please let me go too! No, you must stay here and protect the banner. But. Aw, uh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something real cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Ah, uh, sorry. He turned short of the pistol again. again. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother. Hey, and look at the bright side. It looks like Pearl did not witness the crime. <laughs> uh, true. Mother. This has never happened before. Pearls. Mr. Nick! I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something right. Anything. Ah, I'm terrible at this. I relate to Phoenix so many ways on that. <laughs> Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her! Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone, either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side! Her stare is really piercing. <laughs> How about we take you with us, because... She's gotta watch the village. No! 
Oh, uh, well, actually, I don't trust Eenie Miney in that manner by herself. It might get- Eenie Miney would not be left in charge! No. She's a tourist! No! <laughs> she might set the house on fire at this point. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, like, totally deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> June 21st, 6.48pm, Detention Center Visitor's Room. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Mia or whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. If memory serves, Mia had a few cyclocks of her own. <gasps> Mia, I'm going to get the last piece of information I need. Sure. I welcome you to try. Oh, she's just completely like, yup, you can see right through me. Mia? Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Yeesh. Why do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, a battle of wits against Mia. Mm -hmm. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean, like, how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think, in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. Hmm. I thought I'd never see this day. Are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you're calling was something our ancestor, Mystic Amy Fay, acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fay family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Amy was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism. Amy Taba. I really hope I pronounce. That's a, with, with English phonics, I'd say you did a good job with that. To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Karain Sacred Urn. It usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Um, yeah. I am. Oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Well, let's try and break them Cyclops. One, two, three! The murderer. Phoenix, you think I'm hiding information about someone from you? Is that right? Yes. Alright then, tell me who you think I'm protecting. Um... When in doubt, it's Maya. Um, I think you're trying to protect this person. Phoenix, don't let me down like this. What?! I... I'm sorry. Maya's life is on the line. Concentrate harder. That's why I thought you were protecting her! Mia's especially strict today. So? Have you gathered your thoughts? Who would Mia want to protect who's actually guilty in this case? Um... All I... Uh... Everyone's guilty in some way. <laughs> Literally. Um, Pearl? I Why mean, would you say Pearl? Well, Pearl broke the, the thing, and I don't know, she could Mia doesn't me. know that, though. True. Mia doesn't know any of these other people, though. Morgan? Man, member of the Faith Clan branch family? No. She's not protecting any of the Minies. 
<laughs> she has no reason to. No, or Dick Gumshoe for that matter. She's totally protected director no, Adi. No, yes. I want to see her <laughs> what she says for Francisca. <laughs> She'll just say the same thing. Oh, okay. The Cyclops, basically, there's, like, if you get it wrong, there's one dialogue. Okay. You're protecting yourself! <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Do, 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 do. Actually, then, I have no idea if it's not Maya. Oh, okay. It's Morgan? Okay. I wondered. Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Well done. But... While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. Well, let's see! How about our whole conversation about her wanting to, um, be the main gal? Whatever. The main gal! <laughs> I want to be the main, main gal. gal. <laughs> um... Suspicion? Yep. On the aunt. Um... So just think it over. What did she do? I mean, I know what it basically is, I just don't know the right piece of evidence for it. What are you thinking? Man? Well, she... Eldest sister who didn't have enough magic. She wants to basically have the master. So, she wants to. So kind that, of that's get... her motives. We're talking about physical evidence that connects physical her to evidence. either committing the murder or helping commit the murder. Box. What about the box? Uh, it was in there. So. During the murder, but not normally. And... What does that have to do with Morgan? I thought she would be dressing her. The, uh... Maya was already dressed when she walked in. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what about the other page? First page. This is gonna be really simple, isn't it? The key. What about the key? Um, it... She was like... there. She... I will say, she made a very big deal about, like, you have the key, right? You have all these things. And she, like... She's like, yeah, of course, Auntie! And then, you know, the key's in the incinerator. So, how'd that happen? Okay. My evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. Oh, sweet! I was spot on! You're right. There's only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. The person taking care of Maya, Morgan. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? When did this key find its way into the incinerator? It could have happened long after the murder happened. Long after? Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it in the incinerator. But that's... That prosecutor would use something this small to shred your case. Do you have something other than just the key to cast suspicion on Morgan? Oh, so it's two things. Yep. Well, I'm glad the key did work, sort of. But now that you know the key is part of it, the other one should be pretty simple to figure out. Key and the piece of scrapped cloth? Yep, they were found in the incinerator together. Nope. No, I did not! <laughs> She's just I didn't, even, I didn't even push the S key! What was that about? Phoenix, we don't have any time left. I haven't even said anything yet. You can't just pin my aunt as the murderer with one piece of evidence alone. Do you have something other than that? This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this in the garden incinerator. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this piece may not even be from Maya's costume. But this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. Oh, when did she say that? I don't remember that. She said that. And both the key. And both the key and this piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. 
changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However... H however Like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But, I want to know. If my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How did she do it? Huh. I want to hear your thoughts. Hmm. In order for my aunt to commit Dr. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Ray, who or what did she need? I mean, she would have needed a weapon, maybe. Um, I mean, hmm. I wonder. What? She, the aunt still has spiritual powers, right? Like, yep. she can still do. What if? She has minor spiritual powers. Okay. But she might have I don't have think enough... she can channel. Okay, I was about to ask if she could channel, because what if she channeled. Well, no, wait. You can't channel someone. She was body. out with us the entire time. And you can't channel a spirit that's alive. Right. Okay. Um... She would have needed... The box. I think. The box? The box. Just a box. <laughs> yeah. Well, because the box had... The... Well, it, somehow the box was in there. Why was it in there? It's normally not in there. Maybe she put something in there. Maybe she had the but knife how in does there. that magically murder Dr. Gray? I guess not. I mean, was it just as simple as the knife? Well, no, because again, the knife couldn't have murdered uh, the guy all by itself. She, she needed could've... someone or something to be in that room to murder Dr. Gray. Oh, Maya? No, just... Maya didn't murder him. No, okay. Um... Needed... It's really simple. Gray? Gray? She needed Gray to murder Gray. No. <laughs> she needed Maya to make it look like Maya. Okay, well, this is going to Gray. Maya, Maya Gray. Okay. <laughs> Maya For crying out loud, who's the murderer in the case? Probably Morgan. Okay, she's. But she in, didn't this, in this case, it looks like it's Maya. It looks like it's Maya, but it wasn't actually Maya who stabbed the guy. Maya right. was drugged. Was, um, Somebody was in the tra channeling chamber while Morgan was outside, drugged Maya, killed the guy, and then tried to frame Maya for it. Someone was in the chamber. It was Dr. Gray who was in the chamber. Dr. Gray and Maya were in the chamber, but neither of them did the killing. Lada, uh, oh, Phoenix... Oh, Yeah. Oh! Are you kidding me? How is this a shocker to you? That's a shocker to me! Okay, I was broke her Cyclops and she basically admitted it! Well, she was like... I don't know. She's weird. I thought she was just kind of like, ha, 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 yeah. she was okay. like, She's like, it's gonna be really hard to catch me. I'm gonna serve you humble pie. Oh, great. Eeny miny. She's the answer to the final question. I mean, she was also just like, oh, hey, I really want to hang out at the Fay Manor <laughs> when Dr. Gray comes. I'll just be sleeping in my bed. Which means that my aunt and Eeny Miney were in cahoots. That's I'm amazed that you were that shocked that she's the murderer. I was a little bit I was just more shocked because I'm like, oh, you know, the girl, she had whatever I don't know. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person who would have had to know a lot about the May, Fay Manor, and the and the village itself to do it. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Eeny Miney is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eni. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? 
I still think she wanted to frame murder, not actually commit murder. And who knows, it may be, both of them had this idea, but differently. Like, Inimaya was just like, I'm going to kill this person who killed my sister. And then, like, Morgan's like, I'm going to make it look like it's killed. And then they came and they're like, oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, they like, both had separate ideas, had separate and then just like, oh wow, I uh, guess we kind of got to collaborate to help right. create something. Right, I wonder who is that. <laughs> that could be interesting. And then there's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because your aunt sucks. Mother, she's the one who holds the key to this. Are we gonna meet Misty Fay? Who's mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. I would love to meet Mi Phoenix Wright's mother. That would be fun. <laughs> Phoenix can yo but home this second. <laughs> Phoenix's mother's apparently southern. <laughs> <laughs> Mia and Maya's mother? Why would she bring her up now? Now then. Looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. R right, Chief. We won't lose. To be continued in the next episode of the game. Well, we know what to do now. <laughs> More or less. Unless if we're really wrong and it's like, Oh, just kidding. It was this person. Just kidding. It was actually Mary Potts. He was in just there. Just jokes in there. <laughs> Though, uh, yeah. Well, oh, that's man. it for this episode, everyone. Thanks for watching. I will try not to do a voice of creepy guy again. <laughs> yeah, unless I have to. <laughs> In any case, hope to see you for the next episode. We're going back to court, and there will be more Von Karma and a lot more whipping. Oh, boy. Yeah. Have a great day, and God bless, everybody.